Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and yes, uh, how to configure and use uh, the new notification center inside Windows 10. <laughs> so, um, it's pretty straightforward. The new notification center is actually the new action center. So, it's actually located at the lower right hand side where you have your time and all those little icons. It, it looks like a nice little cloud comet icon. So, if you click on it, you get a nice little action center. Again, it's your action center slash notification center. So if you're getting any notifications, it's going to pop up here. Uh, it's really easy to manage it. They give you a nice little clear all. So you click on this, it clears everything out. If you want to do individual ones that say, I want to clear this one out, it gives you a nice little X. Just make sure you highlight it. And if you don't highlight it, it just tells you when uh, it appeared. Like So I got that on Saturday. So I'm actually going to highlight it and delete it. And it, that's it. Now, at the very bottom of the action center slash notification, you get four cool little icons, which are like quick access icons that allows you to get into places real quick. Now, if you click on the expand, it gives you more options. Now, to get into modifying the action center slash notification centers, we need to get into our all settings app. Within the all settings app, we need to get into systems. And within systems, you're going to go into notifications and actions. Uh, the first option is the quick actions, your quick access options. Uh, by default, you're going to get these four, which if I click on notification, those are the four there. But I'm able to click on one, and let's say I want to choose, I don't know, uh, this one. So when I go back into this, it changes it. Pretty cool, right? So you're able to modify it the way you want it to modify. Now, the second option is select which icons appear on your taskbar. By default, you only have network and volume on, and you got a bunch of others that you could turn on. But again, this is really up to you if you guys want to customize it. You go in here, and you turn the ones that you want on. So let's go back. Uh, the next one is turn system icons on and off. Now, the system icons basically mean these, these guys right here in the bottom. So let's say I want to turn off the clock and the clock disappears. Uh, the only one that you don't have that you don't have options is power and location. I don't know why those are grayed out. I gotta do some testing to see why that's happening. Let's go back. Uh, notifications, you got a couple of them that are turned on by default. Uh, you got show me tips about Windows. This is on. Show app notification, this is on. Show notifications on the lock screen, on. Show alarms, reminders, and incoming VoIP calls on the lock screen, which is on. Again, uh, I can't really tell you guys which one to turn off. It's really up to you which how you want to customize your Windows 10 experience. Uh, the only one that's turned off is hide notifications while presenting. Mm. Uh, the next section is show notifications from these apps. Looks like everything is turned on by default. Uh, but if you don't want to get annoyed with Microsoft on drive stuff, you could just basically just turn it off and you won't get any notifications. And that's it, guys. That is how we use or configure the new notification slash action center within Windows 10. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them at the bottom of the video. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.